All right, you know, nobody won the uh, lottery mm -hmm. a couple days ago. No, nope, I know someone One, who yeah, kind of did. Yeah, I know someone who really won the lottery. <laughs> I don't know if it's the Mega Ball or not, but Kyler Murray, wow, he scored. He'll be staying in the Valley for a long time. Yeah, that's right. It's been a long time coming, but Kyler and the Arizona Cardinals were able to come to an agreement on a contract extension that will keep Murray in Cardinal Red for the next six years. Let's check in with Team 12's Cameron Cox with more on the new deal for K-1. Mark, I like that. It's a good way to put it, winning the lottery, right? Yeah. The only thing, I say, I'll say this, the only thing that would made today better if the Suns traded for Kevin Durant, right? I got some props here real quick. Uh, this was the headline in the Arizona Republic the day after Kyler Murray was drafted number one overall in 2018. It says, Murray is the man. Yes, that is still true. And this is the press release. The Cardinals sit out today announcing his extension. For those of you that questions Murray's resume, this thing is two pages long. A bunch of first times on here, a bunch of records in the NFL, and of course franchise records. That's how good he's been here. And now he's getting mega money to stay for a long time. It's a five-year $230.5 million extension, $160 million guaranteed. Do the math, that's around 46 mil per year, which makes him the second highest paid quarterback in NFL history, only behind Aaron Rodgers. That's a lot of money to give someone without a Super Bowl win or even a playoff win on their resume. Our Cardinals insider Paul Calvisi sounding off. Is this contract worth it? Does he deserve it? Well, the next step for Kyler Murray is he's got to be part of the culture. We see the athleticism. We see the arm talent. We see the accuracy. You see those accolades, the Pro Bowls, et cetera. But he's got to be more of that leader that every team needs their franchise quarterback to be. What was the difference in Cincinnati last year, Cam? They went from a four-win team to the Super Bowl. You know what the culture was? It was Joe Burrow, the quarterback. Kyler needs to be that guy. So everybody has their own style. Kurt Warner was more overt. Carson Palmer was more, you know, you're down on the sidelines. He'd pull you aside, have more of a quiet conversation. Kyler's going to do it in his own way. But he's got to be the one who, who sets that tone. You hope that now he's fortified with his contract and maybe learned a lesson in that playoff loss in more ways than one. And maybe the fact that it took almost the entirety of the offseason to get the deal done, maybe that was a message from the team. Today, the agent, we're going to work on our own timetable. We don't care about your total score length manifesto in all caps. And then number two, you know what, Tyler? Um, we're going to need to see more of that maturity and that leadership. That is the next step you take, as any franchise quarterback would at the age of 24. Guys, Kyler also joins, uh, joins this list of Arizona athletes that have been shown the money by their teams recently. How about this category? Devin Booker got that $244 million Supermax extension. DeAndre Ayton just got that $133 million max extension from the Suns. A lot of good local talent there leading these teams moving forward. Uh, of course, this brings out some memes online. The Cardinals posting that famous Spider-Man meme between Book and Kyler Murray. Uh, Arizona Sports, the Burns and Gambo show. I like this. Kind of an off-season checklist. DeAndre Ayton, Rodney Hudson, Kyler Murray. As I said earlier, we're waiting on Kevin Durant. Probably going to wait a little bit longer for that. And finally, remember how Kyler Murray was drafted by the Oakland A's of Major League Baseball? you know, in the first round a few years ago. Well, he now makes almost as much as the entire team makes. How is that for a paycheck? D-backs manager Tori Lovello talking Kyler. A couple years ago, and I told him that I would sneak him and Fitzy into our stadium to throw him BP just to see what it looked like because they were bragging about who had a better swing. Obviously, I don't want to disrespect Fitzy, but I'm sure it was going to be Kyler given what he's done in this game. We'll put that on hold for right now. Maybe we'll do it another day. But, yeah, I know he's a great talent. Um, the Oakland A's certainly saw enough in him to make him a, a, a high draft pick. But he's, he's doing the right thing in the right, in the right city. Yeah, I agree with Tori there. There was never a chance. You know, there's a lot of talk about maybe one day get fed up with football mm -hmm. and go back to baseball. That was never going to be the case. Case in point today, never going to leave this kind of money on the table knowing what he could make. Let me ask you a question. In Green Bay, there's no doubting that the Aaron Rodgers is a great quarterback, yeah. all right? But people in Green Bay will say they spent so much money on Aaron mm -hmm. Rodgers, they can't win a Super Bowl because they can't pay for other here's, players. Here's what kind of we're hearing tonight, so it's being reported. It, it's a cap-friendly contract. His number's not going to be up there mm -hmm. at $46 million. So the Cardinals will be able to do a bunch of different things with that contract. It's still going to cost them more, so he's taking up a major chunk. But another thing, guys, that salary cap is going to go up. The NFL is going to be making more money, so teams will be able to spend more okay. money. It won't look as bad in a few years. All right. Oh, and more importantly, they have to win.
Yeah. Because yeah. it, it looked really bad if they don't win. And right There's now. nothing like 230 mil <laughs> yeah. for some motivation. Some motivation. Yeah. It's yeah. 230 mil. Exactly. Got it. Got it. Thanks. All right, Cam. Thank you. <laughs>